I tried so hard to like this one. I even bought the concentrated version. The hype train behind this was for real. But it's all hype. And no. There's no reason for the hype. This is a bottle that I'm going to go off on. And luckily, it's not the full bottle. You want to know why? Because the full bottle of this costs $430. Yeah. For a 125 you know. So, essentially, uh, one and one quarter of these. And you wonder what fragrance it is that I'm talking about? Well, I bought the concentrated version of it, and I paid about ten bucks for this. And I got to tell you to know from me, dog. Creed Aventus. I don't get it. I don't get the hype behind this. It's supposed to be like a pineapple-y, citrusy sort of, sort of fragrance. I mean, I maybe get a little bit of pineapple, but it's certainly, certainly overshadowed by the extreme amount of smokiness and cheap leather. But no joke, this is like, when I say cheap leather, I mean, imagine like going into like a JCPenney or a Dillard's and like going to the leather jacket section, right, the leather sec jacket section and everything, but then find the pleather jacket, like the fake leather jacket. That's this. That's what this smells like. Is if maybe you burned it and smelled it after it burned, that's what this would be. That's all I'm getting from this. Um, I don't understand the hype behind this. And this is like an actual roll-on of Creed Aventus. This isn't a fake. This comes from a, 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 a authorized dealer. This is the real deal. This is the real Creed Aventus. Yeah, you get a little bit of pineapple, and then you get hit with the leather and the smokiness. And that's all you get. At least that's all I'm getting. You know, I was a bit rough on those dollar store colognes. But they're a dollar. They're one dollar. Right? A full bottle of this is $430. Why? Why? That's what I need to know. Why? Like, why is there hype behind this? Full bottle, which is one and a half of these. Actually, no. Yeah, it's, it's about one and a half of these. It's $430. And this is a dollar. Now, this is bad because it doesn't stick around. Especially considering this is the one for Aquadesia. No. But like it smells similar and it just goes away within 20 minutes. But it's a dollar. $430 for a bottle that's one and a half this size. Are you kidding me? But people do it. I don't understand the hype behind this, this juice. I don't get it. I don't get why someone would do this. I mean, maybe because it's a concentrate, it's a little harsher. But as a concentrate, I should be getting the other notes. And I'm getting smokiness and leather and a tiny little bit of pineapple in the opening. Even in the dry down, dude. Even in the dry down, it 
was pretty linear. His stuff is terrible. His stuff is terrible. And I don't know why anyone would, would I don't know, understand the hype behind this. And I sure as hell don't understand why people would buy this more than once. You might get me the first time, which you got me, but you got me on a little $10 roll-on uh, uncut oil sample. But you didn't get me on a $430 bottle. I'd be pissed if I bought that bottle and it smelled like this shit. Just saying, dude. Just saying. It, maybe my, you see Old Spice and you see, you know, the dollar store cologne is there. And you see some of the better ones, like the Paco Rabanne I got up there. Uh, one million and the nautical blue and my favorite is all I wanted you see you see the other stuff so you may think oh he just has a cheap smell and that might be true it might just be because my nose isn't refined enough for this garbage but to me this is trash like I'm gonna wear this I may I'm gonna have to layer it with other stuff because my god, this is terrible by itself. I meant to layer it with other stuff. But I'll do that. Because I paid the money for it. And I'm not going to waste the money. But this stuff's terrible. Later.